Darwin and the Theory of Evolution. Why are monkeys' feet like their hands? How come spiders know how to spin a web? What makes chameleons able to change colour? In the 19th century, an Englishman called Charles Darwin was asking himself all these kinds of questions. After finishing university, he set off to travel around the world and study plants and animals. During this time, he visited places that had never been explored before. Darwin knew a lot about nature, but suddenly he was faced with new worlds, such as the Amazon jungle, or the islands of the Pacific. He was fascinated by what he saw there. In Europe, living creatures were similar to the new ones he found, but not exactly the same. On his return to England, after a journey around the world lasting five years, he started analysing what he'd seen and began to understand something that had always been in front of him, but that no one had yet quite grasped. He saw that living things adapt to the landscape and climate in which they live. All living creatures change bit by bit to fit into their environment and so have a better chance of survival. Darwin called this the theory of evolution. He went on to suppose that all living beings might have a common origin. The first living creature was barely just a tiny cell which grew and diversified into different forms. On the one side, plants and funguses. On the other, animals, which grew and changed in a process which lasted millions of years until the appearance of mankind. But it was difficult for people to understand Darwin's theories in the 19th century. Darwin doesn't say that people come from monkeys, but that we have a common ancestor the first primate to climb down from the trees. Darwin was a wise man who taught us that all living beings are related and that we're all part of one big family. <laughs>